Hello friends, welcome to Curiosity Hive. In this video, we are going to solve the IMO class 4 paper for the year 2017. We are going to solve this paper in two parts. In the first part, that is this video, we are going to solve the logical reasoning and the mathematical reasoning section. And in the second part, the link of which is given in the video description box below, we are going to solve the everyday mathematics and the achiever section. So before we start this video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Curiosity Hive. And yes, watch this video till the very end because we are going to share with you some important tips on how you can reach to the right answer with least time without even solving the full question. So come on, let's get ready with your pen and paper and let's start with this first section of logical reasoning. Let's see the first question which says which of the following figures is same as the problem figure. So out of the given options, choose the matching one. Well, the figure that matches the problem figure is this, which is option C. I hope you've got it correct. The next question reads, if the given clock is 33 minutes slow, then the correct time after 25 minutes will be what? And the given clock shows the time of 9.42 at the moment. So calculate and tell me what would be the right answer. Well, let me show you my explanation. So you have the clock as 9.42 at the moment and it is 33 minutes slow. That means the correct time is plus 33 minutes. To that, you need to add 25 minutes because we want to find the time after 25 minutes. Now, we should find the sum of these two times which is equal to 58 minutes which should be added to the original time of 9.42. Now, 58 minutes is close to an hour minus 2 minutes. So, you can compute this as 10.42 minus 2 minutes, which will be equal to 10.40, which is your option A. So, right answer is option A. Who is standing to the southwest of Mohit? Here is your figure given. Tell me the answer quickly. Well, look at the directions. Whenever you're facing north, to your right is east, opposite to north is south, and left of north is west. Now, Mohit is standing here, so his southwest would be here. So, if we plot here, the person on the southwest of Mohit is Samarth, which is option A. Next one. What is the minimum number of squares that must be added so that the line PQ, this is the line PQ, becomes a line of symmetry? Line of symmetry means both the images on either side of the line are identical. So tell me what is the answer? Yes, I am not giving much time. Let's see. Let's start from the first square, it's symmetrical. Second square, well, it needs to have another square here. Here it's symmetrical, symmetrical again. Here also symmetrical. Now again, here there is one square, so there should be one more square on this side. Then going down, let's come here. Here there is one square, this is symmetrical. So to make this line symmetrical, we need one more square here. And all the other lines are symmetrical. So, our right answer is option C, that is 3, because we need 3 squares to make P and Q the line of symmetry. Next question. Select the incorrect match. Well, I hope you've got it right. This is all the time you should need to solve it. Well, option A, option B and D are all vertical reflections. If you notice, they are just getting inverted vertically. However, option C is first a horizontal reflection and then it is reflected vertically. That's how you get this. Hence, our right answer is option C, which is the incorrect match. Next question. Which of the following words can be formed from the letters of the given word measurement? We have done many such questions. So tell me what is the answer? 
well all you need to do is find that smelling which does not have a letter that is in measurement which is l here so our option b mantle cannot be created from the word measurement so that is our right answer next question in a certain code language the letters are coded as follows here you have code for each letter find the code of the given word the given word is horns tell me what is the answer this is a very quick one well i hope you've got it right but let me show you a trick now if you look at the answer all of them have the first four letters same so we should not find the code for h o r n let's just look at s so s is 0 so the code ending in 0 is our right answer simple isn't it next question which of the following patterns will replace the question mark in the given number pattern here is a pattern this is a relational pattern so tell me what is the answer quickly i hope you've got it so if we jump from 17 to 19 it is 2 points from 19 to 22 it is 3 points 22 to 26 it is Four points. So similarly, from twenty-six to the next flower, it should be five points, which is thirty-one. And to check again, thirty-one to the next flower, which is thirty-seven, should be a difference of six points, which is correct. So our answer is option C. Now let's go to our next question. Here you need to find the figure from the options, which will complete the figure X. This is the figure X. You need to find what will fit here. So tell me quickly what is the answer? Well, I know you've picked up speed. So for this figure, just draw with me. There will be two more mountains here with this side marked and the circle that comes here, which is nothing but option B. So that is our right answer. Next and last question in logical reasoning section, which asks us in which of the following figures the given shape X here it is is exactly embedded as one of its part. Can you tell me which one it is? Well, here first you should look at that figure which has two squares, which is option C and B. So you can cancel out A and D. Then you should look at the figure which has this diamond. Well, here there is no diamond touching this edges, so you can cancel out. Here there is a diamond, so hence our right answer is option B. So with this, we come to the end of logical reasoning. So how was logical reasoning? Found it very easy. Well, good. Now we are going to head to the mathematical reasoning section. I hope you are ready with your pens and papers. So hop on with me as we solve the next section. and yes try to time yourself as to how much time you are taking to solve each question come on let's get started the first question here is the adjoining list shows the names of students who are in the environmental club here are the names what fraction of names are starting with alphabet m well for the fraction of names should first write the count of names starting with m which is 1 2 and 3 and then the total number of names in the environmental club which is 4 and 4 that is 8 so your answer is option b next question find the difference between the smallest and largest five digit number formed by the digits 86943 using each digit only once well this also is a simple arithmetic Now to find the largest number you should arrange these digits in descending order so that would be 9 8 6 4 and 3 and to find the smallest and to find the smallest you should arrange them in ascending order starting with the smallest number first that is 3 then 4 then 6 then 8 and then 9 and now you just need to find the difference of these two which will be 63954 which is your option a now our next question is a roman number question before we start let me revise some basic rules of roman numbers in roman numbers you read from left 
to write and as you read you go on adding the numbers and the another point is you always start with the biggest number and what are the order of the big roman numbers well let's start what we have done c stands for 100 the next smaller to it is l which is 50 smallest to l is x which is 10 and smaller to 10 is v which is 5 and then there is i which is 1 which if it comes before 5 it will be considered 5 minus 1 and if it comes after 5 it will be considered 5 plus 1 so you remember this rule now let's read the question this says the costs of notebook bag pencil box and paper clip are given below What is the total cost of paper clip, a bag, and a notebook? Pause the video if you want to try it yourself. Well, here, firstly, remember you just need to find the total cost of paper clip, then a bag, and notebook. So let's start converting them into normal numbers. Now, notebook is equal to. Let's try this. Fifty is the first number plus. 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30. Then there is 5 and 1, which is 6. So this makes it 86. Let's look at bag. Now bag is equal to first is 100 plus L, which is 50 plus V, which is 5. So this is equal to 155. And then we have paper clip. So here I have paper clip. Which is ten plus ten, which is ten plus ten twenty, and the last one is five, which makes it twenty five. Now, if we sum all of them together, we get two sixty six. Now, two sixty six can be written as two hundred plus sixty plus six. Now, let's read it. Two hundred hundred is C, so this will be equal to C. And C, sixty. So fifty plus ten make it sixty. So that is L and X. And how do we write six? Well, it is five and one. So our Roman number for two sixty six is C C L X V I, which is option A. So that is your right answer. Our next question is: Read the following statements and identify the number. I am a two-digit even number. I am a common multiple of both six and seven, and I have total of eight factors. Pause the video if you need some time. Well, let's look at the clues. So I am a two-digit even number. That means I am a two-digit number ending in zero, two, four, six, and eight. So clearly, A and B are out. Then I am a common multiple of both six and seven. Common multiple of both six and seven can be got if you just multiply six times seven, which is equal to forty-two. Now, forty-two and multiples of forty-two would both have common multiple of six and seven. So, eighty-four, which is forty-two times two, and forty-two, which is forty-two times one, both are good for point number two. Now our last is I have eight factors. Now what are factors? Well, factor of a number are those which completely divide the number. So for factors of forty-two, well, let's look at it. One divides forty-two when the quotient will be forty-two. How about two? Well, two, yes, it will divide forty-two, and the quotient would be twenty-one. How about three? Let's see. Three times one is three, leaving us with one and two. So this is also a factor for forty-two. Let's see four. Where four, when you divide four, divide four times one is four, and then just two is two is less than four, so four is not a factor of forty-two. Clearly, five is also not a factor of forty-two. Six we know. Six times seven is forty-two, and similarly, seven times six is forty-two. 
how about 8 no 8 is not a factor of 42 neither is 9 so these are the factors of 42 which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we can get that option c is our right answer because clearly 84 is 42 times 2 now 84 is double of 42 so it will have more factors so that is why we can choose c to be our right answer let's go to the next question which says the sum of two numbers is 6 lakh 49712 let's write it 6 lakh means 6 followed by five zeros 49000 so 49 followed by three zeros 712 which is 712 so the sum of two numbers is 6 lakh 49712 that means some number plus some number gives us this one of the number is 4 lakh 93700 find the other number so to find the other number you just need to subtract from 6 lakhs 49712 the number which is 4 lakh 93700 and then you will get this answer let's do this together so here i will get a carry so 14 minus 9 is 5 and 1 so 1 lakh 56012 which is your option b so this is a simple arithmetic question let's go to the next one and see how quickly we can solve it if a watermelon and an apple is 19 kgs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 watermelons, 1 pear and 3 apples is 94 kg and 1 watermelon and a pear is 22 kg. Then the weight of apple is how much? Well, pause this if you want to try it yourself and time yourself. Well, let me give you a quick way to solve it rather than getting the weight of each individual item. Let's see here. Now, the combination of this is 19 kilograms. So, we combine here we have one, here we have the second one and here we have the third pair. So, if we cancel out three apples and three watermelons, we get three times 19 which will replace this item. Then the next thing we have then the next combination is watermelon and pear which is 22 kgs so we have one of this pair correct now this i can add this as watermelon and pear which is 22 kgs which is just appears one time and then i'm left with just one watermelon so just one watermelon all of this equals to 94 kgs correct now I just need to find the value of the watermelon. 3 times 19 is 57. How did I get it? Because 3 times 20 is 60. 19 is 1 less. So I subtract 3 from 60. And then to this I add 22. Plus the weight of watermelon gives me 94. So to get the weight of watermelon. All I need to do is 94 minus 57 plus 22 which is equal to 79 so this minus the sum of this which is 79 which will give us the weight of watermelon that will be which is equal to 15 so i get the weight of watermelon is 15 kgs and then i need to find the weight of apple now we'll just replace in the equation where watermelon plus apple is 19 kg, I'll replace watermelon with 15 kg plus apple is 19 kg. So, your weight of apple is 19 minus 15 that is 4 kgs. So, your answer is option A. So, this is a quicker way to find it. Next question. Find the perimeter of the given figure. This is the figure here. Perimeter is the length of the boundaries of the closed figure. Let's find it quickly. Now, this can be considered as a rectangle where the opposite sides or distances are equal. So, this point is 18 centimeter, 9 plus 9. 
Hence, this side will also be 18 centimeter. Now we need to find this side. So this side is this length plus this length plus this length which is equal to 12 plus 12 plus 18 and this sum is equal to 42 centimeters. So we get this side. But wait a minute. You also need to find these two sides. So while you would have got your sum as 18 plus 18 for the two sides and 42 for the one side and 42 for the other side you have to wait because you also have to count these two sums now what will this be now to find this if you notice this is equal to 9 that is why they have given this length so I also need to add 2 times 9 which is the distance of these two points. So I will add 9 plus 9. Then my sum would be 36 plus 84 plus 18. Let's see how much this is. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 8, 18, 8 carry 1. 3 plus 1, 4 plus 8, 12 plus 1, 13. So that is 138 centimeters, which is your option C. So many times you may forget these two nines. So pay attention. Let's go to the next question. If the letter dash is removed from letters given below, the dotted line will be a line of symmetry. Again, we have a line of symmetry. So tell me what is the answer? The answer is D because this does not have equal images on both sides of the line. So we should remove J. Next question. Come on, buck up. Let's see what this is. The given figure is made up of a rectangle and a square. Find the length of AB. So we need to find this length. Pause the video if you want to solve. Let me quickly explain this to you. Now if you want to find this length, you need to find this length. The part of which you know DC is 7 cm. But you don't know what is HD. Let's find out. Now this is a square. That means each side is going to be of the same length. So if GF is 8, GD will also be 8 but we already know that gh is 6 so the remaining hd will be 6 plus 2 because that will make it 8 so now i know that my hd is 2 and dc is 7 so the length of my ab will be 2 plus 7 that is equal to 9 centimeter see how quickly we got the answer so your answer is option b so remember the properties of the figures. Next question. What is the difference between the total number of members in the basketball club in 2015 and 2016? This is an easy one. Take your time and solve the answer. Well, the answer here is sum of the members of 2016 so sum of the members of 2016 minus sum of the total members of 2015 and with that you will get your answer. So the sum of 2016 basketball club members is 13,019. I hope you got this number and the sum of members of 2015 are 12,011 and this is equal to 1,008. So that's your right answer which is option B. Well, I hope you had a good run on these practice questions. Now, quickly click on the link given in the video description box to hit on to the next part where we are going to solve the everyday maths and the achiever section of this paper. So, see you there.